Hey guys, Phil Montalioni, the book peddler here, coming to you with a quick YouTube video on how I've been able to double my sales in 2023. We are approaching the fourth quarter. This is when some of our most sales are going to be made as a reseller. And I've implemented these tools that have helped Im improve my sale, increase my sales quite tremendously by over 50%. Now, if you're new to the channel, I've been selling used books for the last nine years. I have a brick and mortar store here, and my predominant selling site has been eBay when it comes to books. Um, there's links in the description below. You can like and subscribe to the channel, find benefit in this video, and feel like throwing me a couple shekels. You're more than welcome to. I have a buy me a coffee uh, fund in the description. All the donations go to my in-shop co coffee fund for those who are coming and purchasing books off of me. And on their behalf, uh, they thank you greatly and appreciate everything. And thank you for your support on the channel, guys. So let's get started here. Um, my sales have, have increased. My net sales are up 53.7%. My total sales are up 79%. How have I done this? This may be old news for some of you guys out there, or it might be new news. And where you find it applicable, maybe by putting some of these things in adding these things onto your seller site i think you should see a benefit in it but again everybody's situation is different everybody's template is is different so where applicable apply them experiment with it and see if it has a benefit see if it'll benefit your business like it has mine so three things i've done differently and i'll be dropping little giblets of of gems too that that i've internalized as well that that is that has helped me um with this business let's start with this i'm always running some form of sale on the site whether that's 25 percent off all items a thousand dollars down or buy two get them for 20 percent off 25 percent off you pick it running sales has greatly um increased the rate of sale um the the second thing has been has been the offer the best offer button so that um potential buyers can make an offer on your item now there's a couple different ways to think about this but let me first start with the statistic my best offer sales are up 48 percent it's actually 48 percent of my total sales so nearly half of my sales are coming from people making an offer on an item and me countering or accepting the offer the key to this is you have to buy right. The money is in the buying. Remember that. The money is in the buying. You have to buy your product right to be able to turn it for some type of profit and be able to accept the best offer. There is a quote from someone, his name is Chris from Daily Refinement, who runs a YouTube channel and a much bigger resale business than I do. And he says this, which this is something that I've inter internalized and found benefit in. He, he says... It's best to take some of the money all of the time than all of the money some of the time. Early on when I was reselling, I might have a book up and someone would send me an offer and I'd say, boy, I know I can get more off of that. That's cheap. I might only have $2 invested in it. I'm not saying give away your items. And again, every situation is different. But, but I will say that book that I didn't accept the offer on or even counter on, it might have sat for three more years till it sold. The whole idea is getting a cash flow getting stuff, generating cash, turn it, burn it onto the next, reinvest it. Um, this has worked very well for me. One thing that I should have probably mentioned in the beginning that has changed is my habit. I try to list daily. Every time you list and show activity on your site, I believe it can only be a benefit, especially, of course, list the right things. What are the right things? That's where the homework comes in. Um, but if you're listing two items a day, five items a day, 10, 15, get on a schedule and start listing and, and generating eyes uh, onto your, your um, seller site. Um, that has greatly improved my sales as well. Um, but again, I'm just going to repeat that quote. It's better to take some of the money all of the time than all the money some of the time. How, how long can you afford to sit on your investment? Um, sending offers has also been key for me. My seller initiated offers is up, it's 15% of my total sales. Um, there 
is features where you can click a button and send 20% off everybody who's watching your item. Um, use it to your advantage. Move product. Uh, now, promoted listings, I believe the jury's still kind of out on promoted listings. I promote my oldest listings currently. I've gone back and forth with this. The, the way I've heard it put as best described is you're paying to play. You're buying ad space. Um, the more percentage you promote it, the the you get front page of the paper, right? The bigger the ad. And if you're buying right, it shouldn't kill you to promote a listing 2%, 5%, 10%. I'm not a huge fan of promoted listings, but I, I believe there can be some benefit off it if there's 50 of the same title book that you have up and you promote it a couple percentage points and get moved up towards the top of the list, let's face it, most people aren't going to the second and third page to look for the book. Maybe some are, but it, it's, it's probably good to be put up top and be one of the first options. Um, so however it put to, um, whether it become to promoted listings or coupons, if your seller site is giving you a tool, they probably want you to use that tool. Coupons, I think the jury's still out as well. I've, I've heard a lot of feedback that it's not really worth it, but that's not to say that you can't do it and you can't do it better than somebody else. Uh, sometimes it's 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 trial and error here. Um, now, I have yet to experiment with coupons. I will at some point or some form of that. But I, I do think that it can it can only benefit if you can figure out how to do it properly. But um, as you can see, based on my numbers, you know, these things have greatly increased my sales. The, it's over 50 percent increase of sales. That's nothing to scoff at. Uh, a couple other things that, that I would um, like to say is I do offer one-day shipping, same-day shipping. Um, I used to be a top-rated seller, but here's another little thing. When I was away on a hiatus uh, traveling around buying books, I had somebody else doing the picking and shipping for me here. Unfortunately, they couldn't always find some of the books. My system was flawed. You have to have a good system so that you can go right to the book and pick it off the shelf with, with, with no thinking about it. Okay, but the one thing is that if you cannot find the item, do not cancel the sale and say you're out of stock of the item. That hurts your store health. You want the buyer to cancel the item. So I'm in transition to moving. I've had a couple items that were misplaced along the way. What I do now is I send the message to the buyer. And, I, and for these cases, I say, listen, the, the book, I'm in transition to moving. The, the book has been lost along the way. Ask their permission to cancel the order. I'm asking you if I can please cancel the order. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. They'll say yes. Now the buyer is requesting a cancel and not you. So by me personally canceling older items or, or sales of items because I couldn't find them or somebody couldn't find them, it greatly reduced my health of, of the shop and it goes against you. And it's been almost a year now and I'm trying to recuperate that back to a top seller. So um, those would be little keys of information there that take it for what it's worth and my experience. Now, in the scope of things, I'm a small seller. I'm not like these big guys, but I only compare myself to myself in the previous year, basically. I don't compare myself to other resellers out there, but I try to take knowledge and apply it where applicable to my own shop. And these three things, uh, running some form of sale, offering best offer, and sending offers have increased my sales by net sales up 53.7%, total sales up 79%. So I recommend you do these things. It's the fourth quarter, guys. I hope all you resellers out there are, are going to do phenomenal and have record sales because I'm expecting them this year and, and let's, let's hope and I hope the same for all of you. So I thank you for watching. If you find benefit, check out the links below and if you have any little bits of information, if you're a reseller as well, leave a comment as to how um, uh, of, of information that you think would benefit other sellers out there, including myself, because I'm always learning. And that's a great thing about this business. You continuously learn and refine your systems and you should see upticks yearly. So thank you guys. Hope you're all well. See you next time.